Hey there everyone, no DM the boy here coming at you with another Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid box opening. So this is a huge box from the original Kickstarter that I ordered from Renegade uh, Game Studios. I wanted to get this because, you know, we gotta be sure to get everything for our, for our sessions. Me and the group, uh, the Vanguard Rangers, are really into the game now. We're well into Season 2. We just started se filming Season 2. So, it's a lot of fun. Like, we fought... Good amount of villains, uh, we're trying out new rangers, uh, the next ranger session that we're gonna record next is, uh, um, what's it, Zeo, that's what it is, we're doing a group session Zeo, so, so this came just in time, because then I can figure out exactly, like, uh, what villains we wanna fight, and we usually try to play a new product and go backwards, so far I've been very consistent with new products, like being, so maybe we'll fight, like, Goldar or something, or, uh, Lord Zed or Scorpina. They're all in here. And Tango Warrior, Z Putties, so. The artwork's really cool on this. Look at that, Goldar. It's really cool. The inside's got like a pumpkin guy. And then, uh, what's this? Monkey Dude. Yeah, it's very nice. Sorry if the table's gonna shake for a second because. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> so everything's here. Let's see, we got a promotion for the comics, I think. And their stuff. We got Dockyard, Power Plant, uh, let's see, Shopping Mall, and Stone, Stone Quarry. We got more game boards too for the new minions in here. I think it gave us some duplicate ones too. But some are unique, like Mighty Morphin White. Lord Zed's in here. Some extra super putties, regular putties. Hmm. Kind of don't like the way this is structured. Take off. Yeah, so there's a bunch of figures in here. Uh, I don't like that they're bagged like that. Actually. That could cause potential damage. But like in this one here, there's um... Mighty Morphin Green, Scorpina, White Ranger, Lord Zed, uh, Rita O Art, and Putties and extra Super Putties. We've been running loud out sometimes. Like you, I think you know this stuff so that's where I have to like switch out and stuff. And I'm just like, yeah. So those extra ones will be helpful. Um, we got the Tango Warriors from Mighty Morphin Season 3 and Mighty Morphin the movie. Oh yeah, shout out to uh, Uncle St. Queen for giving me this. He came to my restaurant work earlier this week and dropped it off. More Tango Warriors. We got some reprints here too, which I'm going to go into why it's going to be helpful later on. And we got uh, the Z Putties, Lord Zed's minions. I don't like that they're bagged like this, but they don't, they seem okay. Yep, we got new Mighty Morphin Green figure. We got, I don't like that Ranger Slayer fell out like that. We got some extra tokens. I don't know what these are, but these are cool. Oh, I think it's like a, oh, oh, art energy. Oh, it's like extra energy. Oh, okay, I see, I see the symbols. Oh, cool. Sometimes we run out of energy too, like to use. Okay, but here we got Goldar. We got Phantom Guy who made the White Ranger clone, um, Alpha. We got the Villain Guy. I don't like the figures. Kind of. We got Pumpkin Guy. We got two new playable Rangers here. Uh, Mighty Morphin Red and Ranger Slayer Pink. Pretty fun so far. Um, so we got Finster, enemy new cards to mess around with. Uh, Wizard of Deception, that's what that guy is. This is the guy uh, made the White Ranger clone. And then new Ranger cards to play with. So I'm gonna go over this first, because it's what I wanna talk about. Uh, so some people think like this is like having the extra stuff feels like a scam and stuff, but I think like 
it's gonna be fine because once the Super Mega Force Rangers, the Gokaiga Rangers, um, get into the game, because Orion's already in the game at the time of filming this. So these extra cards can actually be used for his deck without disrupt destroying another deck. Like I have extra White Ranger cards now for him to use and Green Ranger cards. So that way I can use both Tommy Rangers with um, Orion. So I'd like these are extra. To deck, to deck build with too, I guess, because I have to double check like if you how many copies you can have of a card in a deck. Like if you have extra, can you like deck build and make extra? Oh wow, like have four copies of a card? Cause I think every deck has like two copies max. Okay, Ranger Slayer looks sick. Actually, it looks cool. Um, three da five damage guaranteed. Bolt of Darkness. Ignore the keyword when choosing a, a target. She's strong as crap. Bolt of Darkness. You got the X Blaster Classic. Piercing shot. Three dice attack. This attack defeats the enemy. Deal any remaining damage from this attack to an enemy card. Jade. Oh, she's strong. Ooh, two for one. Terra Kick. After you resolve this attack, the target will not defeat. Returns card to hands. She is good reaction. Scorn shot. Play this card after an enemy card resolves to roll two dice and deal that much damage to that enemy card. Oh, wow. So she fights back. Veteran. Gain one energy. Draw. You may draw up to two cards, then immediately play a card for zero. Oh, my God. Okay. She's a really good card. She's a really good ranger already. I can tell. Uh, then we got two new cards. With uh, Jason. With the dragon dagger. Dragon dagger. And then a uh, dragon shield. So you can customize the Mighty Morphin Red deck. Like, I think you use Mighty Morphin Jason and then just adjust with these two cards. You can technically not play these, but like, Dragon Dagger's pretty good. Performed this attack twice. That's pretty good. I put the Rocky deck. Um, dragon Shield, play this card. When any ranger suffers damage, to reduce that damage by three. It costs one. Next time you perform an attack during the battle, add one die. So it's like a counter attack. Got some alpha cards. That's pretty cool. I think they're the same cards. They're just all arts, basically. So they're the only enemy. So we got all these. We got Finster. Yeah, we got Finster. Eye Guy. Evil Green Ranger. Ooh, I didn't know he was a boss. Oh, you can fight the Green Ranger. Ooh, I didn't know that. That's pretty good. Oh, so this is no art for the... Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Then we got deployment cards, boss cards, Tango Warriors. Oh yeah, let's read some of these uh, Tommy cards here. Um, let me find them. Let's see, Dragon Dagger. It's a fast roll. Up four dice and do that much damage to two different Rangers. Oh dang, he's strong already. Dragon Dagger. Help four health. Dragon Rush. Um, roll six dice and deal that much damage to the lead Ranger. Roll two dice and deal that much damage to each other Ranger. Oh, we could do like a full-on like evil Tommy session. That's a point. Dragon Shield, um, passive, all these cards in play each time a ranger deals damage to an evil green ranger card, including this one, deal two damage to that ranger. Oh, he's just abusive. The lead ranger deals six damage. Oh, gosh. Okay, he's just he's just abusive. He's so strong. And he targets two different rangers or the lead ranger. He's a multi-hitter. But dang, but yeah, like, the few, these cards are, like, good to have extra of, like, the white and green, so I can use these cards at least so two out of three rangers won't be broken like if somebody wanted to play mighty morphin green and i wanted to play orion and use mighty morphin green cards i won't break the deck you know like you'll, there won't be like because i noticed that like, you, you have to make sure that a ranger doesn't want to play the one you're trying to use for the super mega force it's just like a consideration thing and i'm just like okay now i have extra mighty morphin white and green at least so the one i the one left over i pick well um, probably Gold Ranger. So it's just a guaranteed like three, like more options without having to break another deck. Like if somebody wanted to play Gold Ranger and then we wanted to use it for uh, Orion's thing and they would have to take cards from that deck, then you can't play with that deck because it's incomplete. Yeah. So that's my. Those are my general thoughts on the extra cards. Like I'm gonna use them if the Orion's easier to use. I feel more comfortable picking like these Rangers to use. They'll probably be my default Rangers. 
because there's multiple en uh, leader cards too, so there's very versatile in how I can like build a Tommy Orion thing. Like use Orion with Tommy cards. I think that's a really good start to like the first deck build for it. But yeah, that's like my overall thoughts on what we can do with the extra cards here. Support of AI. Let's see, so these two can be like the extra Tommies we can use. Pretty good. So that way it's like free. You can read a. Uh... Then we can save these ones because there's extra character cards for uh... everyone else too. So it's like for future Mega Force. Oh, these are just extra Zords. I don't know what to do with the extra Zords. No, oh, I'm kind of stumped. I could just put them out as like, like cards. I wonder what's the difference between this one and this one because they, they both say different things. I have to double check later, but they have different texts for. Oh, he's not blue either, but he's considered a blue ranger because in the legendary pack, uh, there's the rules that say he's treated as Billy cards. Well, that's pretty good. I wonder what uh, Jason does. Uh, Legacy of the Dragon during setup, add the Dragon Shield and Dragon Dagger for, to your starting hand. Oh, so you just get those right off the bat. Oh, okay. So you definitely want to run those two in your deck because you're guaranteed to those two cards in your starting hand during the beginning of the game. Finishing shot for uh, Rebel Ranger Slayer Kimberly. Uh, after the last enemy card in the combat sequence resolves, do one damage to an enemy card of your choice. Oh, so she can like randomly kill somebody for the final kill at the end of the battle. Like if somebody was like one health off, which has happened a lot. It's happened a lot. So I'll save these. For uh, mega super mega force, when we can go kai go kai change like Orion with the other Rangers, so that way we'll have extras to use. So that's what I plan to do with these because these are going to be future like it's going to be good future proof for like oh I can use I want to play as Jason, but I need uh you know I need that for uh go kai red. They're like ah darn, <laughs> all good yeah so you know we gotta like so it's easier to so these extra cards will be useful in the future. Right now they're not, but like they will be. Oh, it's just the same owner. Got too many extras. Maybe keep these. Maybe yeah, because I can give these to my little brother, like, or something. Because there's two sets of Tommies. Because I already have a set from the Tommy pack. Like these, these exact arts. These exact arts. This Jason shield looks sick. I hope we get a Zack one someday. Because Zack did wear the shield too. Like, having Jason and Zack with Dragon Shield would be really cool. So I think Zack would be next, eventually. And then we got Graveyard Sword. What Graveyard Sword does. Oh, let me see. Graveyard Sword. Exhaust this card to use the ability of another Zord that has been summoned. Oh, copycat. So this Zord can just mimic another Zord in play. So we get that Zord twice, basically. Once per turn. Exhaust this card to use it. Yeah, like once per turn, you can just get him, use the Zord again. I do like how it's like a combination of nostalgic Zords, like Tiger Zord, Dragon Zord, Tyrannosaurus, Red right? Dragon Zord, some random Zord. <laughs> I just recognize those too. But like, yeah. Let's see. But yeah, overall, I, I am satisfied. I am ready to like sort it out and I think it's honestly a good investment because I don't think they're gonna um they're gonna release this in like other sets anytime soon they're just they're, they just announced another kickstarter in October we don't know the details yet they're, it's called eternal rangers but like I think solid look at the Jason one real quick this looks cool I kind of like this like he has the shield the dagger I like the I like the, sh I like the shield on him I gotta sort this out. Overall, oh, she looks good too. For she is the slayer. 
I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so being able to play a Slayer, a Ranger Slayer, seems really cool. Uh, next, after the Zeo theme session, I think I'm gonna play Rebel. She looks great. Because I really love Kimberly and Mighty Morphin, so like, it's gonna be a good, like, which one's better? I think Rebel, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> okay. That's all I got for you for the Kickstarter. I think it's a good investment. Um, you can use the extra cards for future Super Mega Force um, Gokai change. Because the with Orion out, I'm thinking like the other Rangers are probably going to work the, basically the same way. Where you can build three a separate deck with other past Ranger deck cards. So like, being able to have the extra leader cards helps so you don't disrupt like people who potentially want to play as like Jason or Tommy or something. You're like, oh... I have to break your deck to, if I want to use your cards, you know, like, so having the extra cards will work out. It's all good. <laughs> Thank you all so much for uh, watching this episode. Uh, it's awesome, you know. <sighs> I love this Kickstarter. I love the game. Like, it's, I'm very excited to sort all this. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've been, I'm hoping you have been also been enjoying the content, like the episodes. I, it's been fun playing solo mode and with my group. I really do appreciate their time and the fact that they actually just genuinely enjoy playing. I'm really glad we're doing a ZL theme session because I think theme sessions would be really fun just because it's thematic and once in a while it's great, you know, just change it up. You know, like just play, just help us, you know, help us be authentic. <laughs> like when we started the pilot episode with Dino Thunder theme, that was really fun. You know, we were all Dino Thunder Rangers, we fought uh, Elsa, Zet. Uh, Zoltrax and Mezagot. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I wish we had Tyranid drones. Now we do, but like, I wish we had them before. So we might do a rerun with uh, Tyranid drones thrown in there. We'll see. Because there's only five, and there's six of us, so it depends. So, like, one of us might have to play with someone else. But yeah. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> I'll see you all for the next episode, alright? <laughs>